Hobbits and orcs and dragons, oh my. But no Peter Jackson. <laughs> That's right, dude, dude. We're going to talk about Amazon's Shitty Rings of Rings Power. Rings. Yes, terrible, terrible Rings of Power, which no one seems to like and people are very sad about. There seemed to be an opportunity to make things right, but they didn't take it because as the story here in, uh, what is this? Hollywood Reporter says, Peter Jackson says Amazon Lord of the Rings TV series ghosted him. Did they try to have relationships with him? Sexual relationships? Apparently. And then they just ghosted him. The Oscar-winning director says Amazon asked him to be involved with its mega-budget, yeah, $500 million budget Lord of the Rings series, and then cut off contact. Amazon suggests the story isn't quite so simple. Does this sound like a really smart plan for them? Sounds super stupid. I don't even know. Like, I just don't care about this show at all. I'm going to watch it because I have Amazon, but. <laughs> so you're just going to watch it because it, like, you damn, have Amazon? Like, damn, it seems dumb. It seems like a really bad decision. Like, I don't necessarily want it to fail because Amazon funds the boys. So this is true. I need Amazon to be successful so they fund the boys more. But this is going to fail horribly. Uh, So a quote from Peter Jackson, and this is really bad, coming out right before the show is about to release. It's supposed to release soon? I believe it is. They promised to send him scripts and then never contacted him again. This is from writer-producer Fran Walsh. They asked me if I wanted to be involved, and then, and I said, and I said, that's an impossible question to answer without seeing a script. Jackson recalled to Scott Feinberg on The Hollywood Reporter's a word chatter podcast. Not as good as our reviews will kill you podcast. Not at all. So they said, as soon as we get the first couple scripts, we'll send them to you. And the scripts never showed up. That's the last thing I heard, Kinda which is douchey. fine. No complaints at all. Kind of douchey. That seems pretty sus. Uh, apparently, he also said the same thing in a separate podcast, the business podcast. Also not as good as our reviews will kill you podcast and phrased it slightly differently. He says about four or five years ago, they asked if I would be interested in it. So I said, have you got the scripts yet? Because I know how hard the scripts were to write for the films. And I didn't know the people writing their scripts. And they said, oh, no, we haven't got the scripts yet. But as soon as we do, we'll send you the scripts. So I was waiting for the scripts to arrive and they never did. Poor boy. Poor boy. I think they're going to send us some scripts to see if we can help them along. And then they said, no, thank you. I don't know if, if him seeing the script would have fixed like the whole like Blel situation, but you know, <laughs> remember that outtake we had? Yes. He said he'll be watching it. This is uh, still Peter Jackson. I'm the sort of guy who I'm not the sort of guy who wishes ill will on it. So he's looking to see if it's good as a, he says he's going to be a neutral observer. They better get this right because they spent half a billion dollars on this. I think it's going to bomb and bomb hard. You look at what's happening and you see the the changes. You see Warner Brothers changing their script, right? They're not going to agree. Lord of the Rings is going to have a 10 year plan. But I don't know. It supposedly has a five season arc. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. And then there, and then you see Marvel suddenly cut phase four they're like yeah no more we're done with that not doing as well it apparently underperformed the previous one by like half amazon paid the estate of uh not peter jackson of of tolkien jrr tolkien Tolkien. yeah and astound an astounding 250 million dollars for the rights to make the show jesus all that said one does not simply offer to send peter jackson an lr L-O-T-R script and then leave the man hanging. You don't do that. It's a bad idea. I mean, look, he absolutely knocked it out of the park with the Lord of the Rings yeah. trilogy, but the Hobbit. Mm, and it and it proves how easily you can get corrupted by studios making bad decisions and by, you know, just he was overwhelmed by the project. It was just too much time for him to invest in. But they're saying they're trying to make it a little bit like Game of Thrones. I mean, if they have nudity and weird stuff like that in this, it's going to 
people are going to be like, yo, no thanks. This is not what I signed up for. I mean, depends on how hot they are. Did you see the cast? I did, so never mind. Yes. It's going to fail hard. It's going to fail real hard. I don't need it. I don't want it. <laughs> I'll probably watch it. an episode and be like, yeah, this sucks. Never mind. I wonder, it, the show premieres on September 2nd, so you know we're going to do a review of the first episode. We are. I'm probably going to do it the first thing that comes out. Uh, I'll be right no, they'll there. probably release the first three. Well, I'll at least review the first one. If it doesn't have any Minotaurs and Minotaur sex, I'm going to be disappointed. There better be a fucking dragon. No, that's Game of Thrones. God damn it. There's only a handful of dragons. Smaug. 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 He's there. He's a pretty big ass goddamn dragon. He is. I just, I just don't think this is gonna do well. He likes gold. I love gold. No, this. I mean, it's, it's gonna do okay. It's not gonna do five hundred million dollars well. Why wouldn't they have talked to Peter Jackson? Cause they dumb. I think they were afraid to talk to him because he was gonna say, "Yo, script sucks." So, I don't know. What do you think in the comments below? Do you think that Amazon is making a giant mistake by not consulting Peter Jackson? They had his ear. He was interested. And then they ghosted him like a really clingy girlfriend who refuses to put any furniture in their house. I mean, it's just one oh, of those things that seems really strange. Goodness. Why would you do that? Oh, right. Why would you buy a house and then not put any furniture this in it seems, unless you're a serial killer? This seems personal. And then you put in like all of that cling wrap. I'm and then you walk in the house and you're like, there's cling wrap everywhere. Why would I be in this place? Gonna, it's very strange. Get a nope out of this conversation. Anyway, let us know in the comments below if you have a serial killer living in your house or if you think Peter Jackson should have been consulted. Your choice. Either one we're okay with. But if you don't get a chance to listen here you can also catch our full-length audio podcast on spotify stitcher itunes all those great places for google free. play google play i always forget that one too catch us on instagram orc o-r-k underscore you because we are a family of orcs we are inclusive to all orcs and if you do not like and subscribe or give us a thumbs up or a like or all of those good things and more noob noob will potentially spend 500 million dollars doing this I will spend all that money buying a helicopter that shoots out dildos. Will you identify yourself as a attack helicopter? I will. Yeah. And those homing dildos will go right into your butthole and they will not leave until you subscribe to our podcast. And they're vibrators with remote controls. So just know that anytime you sit down and you're comfortable, you won't be soon enough as I hit that button. Unless you subscribe. That's only for OnlyFans though. Yes. Why wouldn't you spend some of that money to no dildo furnish helicopter. a home? <laughs> dildo helicopter all the way. Okay. If you have to choose furnishing a home or a dildo helicopter, there dildo is zero percent chance you're furnishing that home. Well, all right then. Anyway, that's all you've got from us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You as we move on to the next one. Ah.